So you want a stronger jawline? Well, listen up. I'm going to show you how I went from this right here to this right here. And all I used was three simple steps. And make sure you stick around for the last step because it's the most important and it'll blow your mind. What's up, Fireline gang? It's your boy Majillion and let's kick things off and jump straight into the first step. The first step would be mewing. What the hell's mewing? Isn't that the sound cats make? No, that's meowing. We're talking about mewing and it's based on studies by Mike Mew and it is a technique that focuses primarily on tongue posture and neck posture. Mike Mew has shown through his orthotropics that having the correct tongue posture made the difference between somebody who grew up to have a strong jawline and somebody who grew up with a weak and receding chin and jawline. If you have a weak jawline, you can check your tongue posture right now now and I bet you that your tongue is resting on the bottom of your mouth behind your front teeth. Am I right? Exactly. So now we can change the shape of our face by expanding the soft palate, which is the roof of our mouth. This is done by placing the tongue on the roof of the mouth and applying extra pressure on the posterior two thirds of the tongue. Not only does mewing give you a more symmetrical face and a stronger jawline, it also has a plethora of other health benefits. This includes fighting sleep apnea, asthma, and other health conditions that is due to poor breathing techniques. Now I can make an entire video on mewing, but that's that's just gonna take too long. So I actually made a previous video on this mewing. I'm gonna link it up above. It has over a million views. It's a really well-rated video. It dives deep into mewing, teaches you all the steps, teaches you about it. So make sure you go check that out if that was not enough information covered in this video. Step two is a proper diet, workout, and hydration. I bunched this all into one because I feel like it is all synergistic with each other. Hydration is important because you need to drink enough water or your body thinks, hey, we're not gonna get enough water so we have to hold on to this for as long as we can and this will cause your face to be puffier. I recommend drinking between three to four liters of water a day. When it comes to a workout and diet, the reason why that's so important is if you have excess body fat around you, it tends to deposit around your face so you will have too much fat covering your bone structure. Now, it doesn't have to be complicated to lose weight, right? All you really need to do is low intensity steady state cardio, also known as LIS, three to four times a week. Now, what does this mean? It's not complicated. It just means that you have to get Get on a treadmill, put the incline 10 to 15, speed to 3.5, whichever is comfortable for your walking, and then walk for 30 minutes, three to four times a week. If you don't have a treadmill, you can just walk outside 30 minutes to 45 minutes a day, four or five times a week, and you'll lose a ton of weight. Walking has been shown to reduce visceral fat. Now, this is the fat that wraps around the organs. This is a fat that gives you that distended abdomen. Now, I actually have a video that I dive into depth about losing weight, and it actually teaches teaches you how to lose your first 20 pounds. I'm gonna link it above. It's very simple, four steps. You basically have to find your maintenance calories and I'll teach you how to do that with the online calculator. Intermittent fasting, I'll teach you the most simple way to do intermittent fasting. A workout routine, I'll teach you how to make your own workout routine, very simple. And tracking your calories. I'll teach you an app you can download for free and use that to track your calories. Now step three, the most random step, but it's very important, is to eat harder foods. Eat harder foods? What do you mean by that? You want me to chew ice? You want me to chew rocks? No, I'm not telling you to do any of that. Take a look at our ancestors. Look at all the skeletal remains that are found of our ancestors and you'll see that they have very prominent jawlines. This is because they ate a lot of uncooked foods and they ate a lot of unprocessed foods. Unfortunately, we live in a society where everything is processed. It's very hard to find unprocessed foods. And because we live in a society where we like to cook our foods a lot, even our vegetables, we barely get to eat any hard foods. The trick to this is to choose harder foods. You can eat a lot of your vegetables raw, things like carrots, steak that is cooked medium rare, or even well done, because overall steak is pretty chewy, right? And if all else fails, you can try mastic gum. Mastic gum is basically a harder to chew gum, and this will actually train your masseter muscles and your jawline. But you wanna be very careful when it comes to chewing gum, because if you overindulge in chewing gum, if you're chewing gum for like five, six hours a day every day, 
you put yourself at a high risk to develop TMD. TMD is temporal mandible disorder, and it is an inflammation of your TMJ, which is your temporal mandible joint. And the issue with that is it's a very small muscle and joint. So it gets very little blood flow, which means that it doesn't recover as fast as some of our bigger muscles, like our biceps or quadriceps. This is why it's very important. You make sure you chew the gum only one to two hours a day, take plenty of breaks. And if you don't want to overstress the TMJ joint while still getting a decent workout, you can check out my gum chewing hack. It's a different way to chew the gum and it's called tongue chewing. I also learned that from Mike Mew. All right, guys and gals, hopefully you can use the information in this video to ensure that you get a stronger jawline. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to drop some comments below. Hit me up on my other social medias, link in description, or even email me, link in description. Thank you for stopping by and make sure you slam that like button, subscribe, bell notification, and leave a comment, any questions, any concerns, any recommendations for future videos, I'll definitely take into consideration. My name is Majillian. Thank you for stopping by. This is Iron Lion Nation. Let's get these games, baby.